Hey guys, Tam here from Art Tree Creations and in this lesson we're going to go through some easy technique steps with the Art Tree Creations products on how to achieve lacing and cells in your resin artwork. So what is lacing and cells? So lacing and cells is when the pigment breaks up just to create this beautiful effect. The materials and tools we'll be using are the Archery Creations pre-primed art boards. We're using the Delchem Crystal Clear Epoxy Resin and it's also important to note that we've also had similar results using Art Resin, Mastercast and the Total Cast Resin systems. We'll also be using Archery Creation pigments, Stormy Night, Iceland White and our Rich Gold Metal Powders which we'll demonstrate some additional effects with. In terms of tools, we're going to use a butane torch and a heat gun to demonstrate some techniques for achieving lacing and cells. Importantly, make sure that you're using the appropriate safety protective wear when using your resin. So the first piece we're working on today is created with the application of a heat gun together with the Archery Creation pigments. Once you have your resin mixed, you want to divide your resin up into a couple of cups to then add your pigment. The Archery Creation pigments are highly concentrated, so you don't need a lot. Just a small amount on a pop stick for each cup. In this piece, we're using the clear as a base. So we've poured and smoothed that around to cover the entire surface. Next, we've added the Stormy Night, dragging this through across in different sections on the board. We're then going to add the Iceland White and we're going to pour some on one side of the board and drag on the other side of the board just to show the difference when heat is added. Our next step is to use our heat gun on a low heat setting, moving across the board, eliminating some air bubbles and also warming the resin. As you can see, with just a small amount of heat to the surface, you can already tell the Archery Creations pigments are starting to lace. Turn your heat gun up to the higher setting. This will allow the resin and the pigments to be pushed around with that higher heat. This will form a stretch in the pigments, which will help create the lacing and the cell work automatically. Be careful not to overheat your resin. By overheating and pushing the resin too far out, you will find this will leave divots and craters in your resin artwork whilst drying. With our second artwork piece, we're going to create using the same process as we did with the first artwork. We're going to be using a butane torch, however, to create these beautiful cells and lacing to finish the piece. Pouring down a clear, we're going to use this as our base. Then the stormy night, we're going to use on a pop stick and drag through to give that extra depth and dynamic to the piece. With the Iceland White, we're then going to pour in a section. We're going to use a smoothing tool to then drag and stretch that pigment across the surface. We're then going to add in some extra highlights by dragging some pigment off a pop stick in. With the Butane Torch, Working across your surface in small circular motions, eliminate all the air bubbles you can see. Once you've eliminated the air bubbles, then pull the butane torch back and start working across your stretched white surface. The heat from a butane torch 
will help warm the resin which then will stretch out your pigment, creating these cells. With our third piece, we've created using the same process with a heat gun as our first. We've added in our rich gold metal powders to produce an extra effect. By placing down our clear and covering that surface, we are then dragging through the Iceland white, the stormy night, and our rich gold. Using your heat gun on a low setting, move across the surface, warming up that resin and eliminating some air bubbles. Move your gun to a higher heat setting and then start pushing the pigments around with the resin to create that crazed effect with the gold. A benefit of using the metal pigments is that they leaf and float on top of your resin surface to represent looking like real metal. They work perfectly with our other pigments to create some beautiful effects. Guys, I hope you've really enjoyed this. I hope you've been inspired to give lace and cell work a go. If you have any questions or you've enjoyed this video, comment below. We've got plenty of videos to come, so please stay tuned. Until next time, ciao.